you notice the Latin name says Rosaceae, Crataegus, and then it says SPP, period. That means, that's what you write in the species, but that means you're telling the person it's a type of hawthorn. Like you would, you could write Quercus SPP in scientific writing. Quercus SPP all have acorns, the oaks. So we're not going down to the species level on hawthorns. There's many, 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 many of them, and you have, you have to practically be a hawthorn expert uh, to tell them apart. And in the landscape, they'll they'll teach a few other species and varieties, but again, we're more focused on the wild ones. And who knows what you have hybrids and all sorts. So it's just a it's just a hawthorn is what we do. So you put SPP period, and that is telling the person. I'm purposely not telling you what species. I'm saying it's a hawthorn. The leaves are not something that they all have in common. This one's got an unlobed kind of a obovate spatulate or spoon-shaped looking leaf. One on your sheet, one of them looks like a maple, one of them has big, big teeth, uh, and there's everything in between, okay, because there's so many hawthorns. So on your sheet, there's kind of a mix uh, on the DVD uh, of the pictures. So what do they have in common? Well, we don't want to worry about buds anyway, right? Or, or leaves anyway. We want to worry about buds. Well, let's start. They have thorns, and those are true thorns, which means they're modified twigs. Thorn begins with a T, twig begins with a T. So there's big, pretty vicious, long, pointy thorns on them. Hawk thorn, you'd hope it would, right? Then the buds, now they're little, but they're very conspicuous. They are round. Those, that looks like a dead branch you're holding there. This is not, this is not dead either here. They are round, very shiny or lustrous, brick red. They look like they have a little coating of clear nail polish on them. So round, lustrous, brick red bud. Uh, another thing they'll have in common is the little fruits. They're, that's called a, they're called a pome. That's an apple. But these are very <coughs> little. That's in common. The color and how many in each clump is not. They can be yellow, orange, reddish, dull brick red again. Most of the wild ones are more on the dull side. There's some commonly planted ones that are bright orange. They're, they're, and they're planted for that reason. Okay. Uh, so the wild ones again are going to be tend to be more dull in color, but it's actually a tiny little apple. And you can make things out of it. You can look up hawthorn <laughs> recipes. Last year at this time I had a little stack of candy called haw candy that a grad student from China brought back. And it was just like basically pressed dried hawthorn. And I was able to pass them out. They're gone. Um, so you can make stuff out of them. They're sour, but you can, you can look up jam recipes and things like that for them. Uh, they are all small trees. And that's in common. And they all have, that's a real nice picture of it right there, a spinely kind of scaly bark. And you can see the bark on this one if you come over here and look inside there. Quite gray and scaly. 